Comma usage. Listing items in the Oxford comma. Comma placement is crazy important when listing a series of items. For instance, check out this magazine's front page. Rachel Ray finds inspiration in cooking her family and her dog. Without any commas separating the three actions, it seems as if the act of cooking is connected to her dog and her family. Thus, dinner is mom, dad, and dog tonight at the Ray house. To fix this mistake, the sentence needs a comma between each individual item, including use of an Oxford comma. Since I've mentioned it, let me explain. The Oxford comma is the comma immediately preceding the conjunction in a list of items. This is a dying punctuation mark, having already been dropped from AP style writing and most writing conventions outside of the United States. But as you can see, it's very important in creating sentence clarity because by adding all of the correct commas, it is obvious that Rachel Ray is talking about three separate items. So now it's time to take a red pen to your own paper. Before you start throwing commas around, ask yourself the following question. Are you listing a series of individual items? Would linking the items together cause confusion to the reader? If you answered yes to these questions, then you need commas. For more help, make an appointment with the Miller Writing Center.